Hello everyone and welcome to the video for today. I designed and 3D printed these table bombs and uh, I made them on my resin printer and now I'm just going to paint them all white. Uh, table bomb, I'm not sure that's the right word but that was the one Google Translate gave to me so we're just going with it. I'm painting the outside of these, the inside and the little lid. And uh, these are the bigger uh, table bombs that I could find. Uh, so they are actually quite big, but this way you can actually put something in there for the real nice New Year Eve's uh, feeling. I am leaving a link in the info box below for Cult 3D. Um, where you can find these 3D prints, so you can make them yourself if you have a 3D printer. If you don't, I am sorry about that. Uh, the way I'm going to make the labels around these table bombs is by making a uh, template of paper. And you see right here how I am doing that. Then I have this really sparkly paper here and I thought that would be perfect for these table bombs. So I'm cutting out uh, pieces for all my table bombs in the right size according to my little um, pre-made shape here. I am making sure that they fit all around the little table bomb just as I want it. Perfect. Then I am going to take a piece of paper and this glue tape. This is kind of a double sided tape. I really like this one. And you just roll that over the part you want it to have some double sided tape on. And then you just lift your little part up just like that. And you can place that on your table bomb. And it will be really, really pretty and shiny. I'm doing this on all of mine. Then I am using my Dremel and uh, I'm using a very thin drill in a very low setting. And then I am going to drill a tiny, tiny hole here at the bottom of this little table bomb. And that is to put in the wick for the table bomb itself. The wig is a piece of black sewing thread that I have put a tiny bit of glue all over so that you can um, kind of make it stiff and this way you can pop it in the little hole that we drilled earlier. And there we have the little table bomb with the little wig in and you can put stuff in there if you want to. In the info box below you will find a link for a print sheet, a PDF file. And uh, one part of it is these small flags that you can use for decorations around the table bombs or inside the table bombs, just like you feel like. So cut out as many as you need. On the print sheet you will also find these small Christmas hearts um, and I cut out a lot of them. I put over some tape on the print to make them shiny before I bent them in place and glue them into the small hearts. It's actually quite easy but uh, you can see right here how I did it. That is all for the video today. I hope you enjoyed that. 
I had a lot of fun with this one. So thank you for watching and I will see you again tomorrow. Happy crafting!